Well, with us right now is Leslie Gabola, the owner of Adapt to It, and it's always good to have you here. Thank you. Nice to see you. Always good to be here. And this, I expected some kind of yes. medical <laughs> devices and help helping things and all that, uh, but you brought me a food basket. I did. Yes. I did, and it's so, really pretty. So, what do you want to talk about first? Okay. Well, they're both related. Okay. Actually. So I was thinking, you know, because I always have to surprise you and do something yes. different. And I was thinking, what would be really educational? And so I figured this month, October, is Breast Care Cancer Awareness Month. Okay. And we are big on caring for people with cancer, mm -hmm. as you may well guess. Um, we have a lot of folks that come in that are going through chemo, that are, you know, having some ill effects or, you know, worried about it. Um, we have uh, people with arm lymphedema, which mm -hmm. is, and I'll explain that in a minute, yeah. but it's um, kind of swelling in your arm after okay. maybe a mastectomy or a lumpectomy, things like that. But we are also big on prevention, and we're big on fall prevention, we're big on prevention in general, promoting exercise, promoting health. So it's kind of like a holistic thing going on and adapt to it. And so I decided to maybe make an educational thing saying, telling people the good foods that would prevent cancer. Very good. So in this basket are all the magic foods that will prevent cancer. Very good. And um, I, um, so the first one, let's see, I'll look at my notes. The first one are grapes. And grapes have a ton of benefits. We all know, right. you know, a glass of red wine a day. But grapes have the ability to inhibit cancer cell growth and slow tumor progression. And so it's they have a, um, a chemical in them that helps do that. So the grapes and the beans, just fresh green beans, uh, will yes. do that together. Yeah. And, um, and, and they're just delicious. You can, you know, eat these great yes, right I out of the bag. Grapes. Help yourself, me too. And then these are great raw with hummus. Oh, I love or, raw green beans. Me too. Yes. With hummus or, or a dip or, you know, whatever you like, you can dip it and eat it. Very, very healthy. Mm -hmm. And then um, the photochemicals found in berries, which are my favorite. These are absolutely, I just eat that right up. <laughs> and then um, the berries, peppers, and citrus fruits all have photochemicals. And soybeans as well. So these are peppers. And you can get really creative with yeah, these. Yeah, you can. That's the fun thing. So eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. No, it doesn't. It, no. can, be, it can be as exciting as that you want. And what I've always heard, that if you eat a rainbow, during That's the right. day, eat a, a whole rainbow, that you will get all the chemicals, all the good nutrients, yeah, everything exactly. that your body needs. Yeah. And so just think rainbow. So that's why I, I lean toward the orange and yellow and red peppers more so than the green. The bright red, bright green, or bright blue fruits are yeah. really great. And then the neat thing about it is that you can really combine things to make a super fruit food yes, even better. Yeah. So I take a kale salad, which we all know the benefits of kale. Yes, Kales, love kale salads. Yes. I do. Uh, this is my favorite. So take a kale salad, which has all the benefits of kale with mm -hmm. the fiber and all those great nutrients that kale has. It has cranberries in it, which again are the deep red fruit. Right and pecans, which are nuts, which give you fiber, which helps everything kind of move through the system mm -hmm. so nothing bad sticks, yeah. basically. So combine that with the healthy benefits, omega-3s of salmon, and you have a great salad. Yeah, you do. That is a superfood that can prevent cancer. Yeah, very good. So, and then one of the other really, really simple recipes are sauteing some garlic right. with some tomatoes. And these are these are air, small baby heirloom yeah, tomatoes. Yeah, which you can find easily. Yeah, nowadays. and these yeah. are, the heirloom tomatoes are my absolute yeah. favorite. They're not it's as acidic, so if you have trouble with acid, um, they're better, and they're just sweet yeah, and delicious. Yeah, they very much are. So you saute these three things together, and broccoli is another one of those superfoods. And you have a super duper cancer fighting yeah. food here. 
and it's super easy, takes about five minutes, and so it's a really good way to prevent um, and you really got, bad uh, things. And you got soybeans in there, of course. And soybeans, soybeans are, um, as long as you don't, you're not sensitive to soy, soy are great. Soy is great. It has, again, those photochemicals in it. It has some fiber. It has really healthy things yeah. in it. Yeah, and those are good. You, again, you can find these uh, just about anywhere Pretty much now. anywhere. And uh, they, they actually come pre-cooked, as do. you can see. And uh, you, you, what I like to do is toss these in a little bit of um, uh, some kind of like canola oil with some garlic, and then any kind of seasoning you want. You want to mm -hmm. go uh, something spicy, you know, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then we love these in our Delicious. House. Yeah. Very Me good. Too. So really easy stuff you can do to get really healthy and, and prevent bad things. So. Yeah. Very and good. And then um, if, like I said, we do have the all this stuff to help with um, taking care of people that ha are going through chemo or have maybe have had a lumpectomy or something like that, or have a preventive, preventative need for maybe a sleeve after such a surgery. Okay, and this is, this is the same company that makes compression exactly. socks, right? Exactly, and, things. and is that basically, it's helping with circulation it is. or what? Okay. And it's tighter at the wrist, less tight as it goes up the arm. Okay. And the idea is the same thing in the leg. It creates a funnel. And so it helps okay. bring the fluid from the fingertips with the glove on all the way through the, the arm to help this pump. We all have a lymph pump up here. Okay. And so it brings all the fluid up there so your body can naturally eliminate it. Very good. And then if people are yeah. flying and they've had a, a mastectomy yes. or a lumpectomy, we recommend a preventative sleeve too. Okay. And you've got one that's just more of a glove, right? This is a, this is a gauntlet. Okay. And um, the gauntlet is just, it doesn't have fingers, so it goes on just like this. It involves your thumb. Okay. And up to your fingers here. And so if you have a little swelling maybe here, okay. but not nothing in your fingers, then this would be the glove for you. Okay. And then if you have fingers swelling, we have ones that go up to about here. Now, would you wear this? For a few hours or what? This, how, how would something this, like this work? you wear with the sleeve. You never separate the two. Oh, you, can you wear don't. the sleeve okay. without the glove, but you can wear the glove without the sleeve. Okay. Because what happens is it's compression again. Okay. So it's moving that fluid and it'll move it up to your wrist and then it won't have any anywhere else to go. Okay. So it's going to create more swelling in your forearm. Ah, okay. But if you wear the glove, I mean, if you wear the sleeve, it continues that progression Okay. Up. And you can wear these pretty much what we recommend is all day. Okay. And then no, not to sleep in them. Right. And then if you're going to, um, if you're going to fly with them, we recommend put them on two to three hours before you get on the plane. Okay. And keep them on two to three hours after you land. And that way your body has time to okay. accommodate. Very good. You always bring interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thank you. And, uh, we want to mention that although they are down the street, as you know, you have a Newport place that uh, opened, what, two, three months ago? It, no, it actually opened about three weeks ago. Oh, three weeks ago. Yeah, wow. and we're having our grand opening on October 12th Okay. at 5. So um, that'll be, we're doing a ribbon cutting, and it'll be the Very official, nice. official opening of our second adopt to it. Very good. So. Well, if you can't get down to that one, you can certainly get to the one down the street, Absolutely. right? Uh, El Toro and Valencia. And uh, Leslie's staff can always help you out. Now, they do not sell this food. However, there is Mother's Market right across the, right, right across exactly. the parking lot. So you can get all that stuff there, and they can recommend stuff for you, but they don't sell the food. Sometimes they have little parties with food. We do, we do. We, <laughs> and that's the grand opening, lots yes, of food. <laughs> there you go. Good to see you. Thank you, Thank great you very to much. be here. All right, you take Thank care you. and we'll be right back. <laughs>